Oh my God. Programmet presenteras av Betsy.com. Welcome to Studio MMA and MMA Nits here in Las Vegas for UFC 146. We got Dave Herman with us who's fighting on the main card. And the coach, Daniel, let, let me see if I, I don't want to butcher your last name. Varan. Varan, Varin, whatever. How, what do you say it? How do you say it, Dave? I say Warren. <laughs> Warren, okay. <laughs> Daniel Warren. It's nice, Warren. yes. <laughs> Striking coach. Um, you, uh, you were just talking, it's nice fighting as a heavyweight, right? You can eat wherever you want. Yeah, it's great. I just had a 16-inch sausage pizza. <laughs> what did you have to eat? Oh, the pizza, okay. <laughs> so you had pizza, and you said you had another slice. Yeah, left I've got one eat. slice left. Uh, I'm going to eat that when I get back, and then I got two foot-long subs waiting on me, too. For real? Yeah. Two foot long, and, and Daniel, do you get to eat anything or? No, no, because you know pizza, you know, I, 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 uh, I was overweight, you know. When I come to America, you know, I hate eating a lot. I, I was big, you know, and now, you know, I need to be careful. So you watch <laughs> your weight? No pizza. But Dave, you don't have to watch your weight. No, no problem. Uh, I'm trying to gain weight. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are fighting a guy who's definitely uh, heavy, but he's done a good job slimming down, actually, in, in Roy Nelson. Uh, he worked a lot on, on, on his uh, diet, he said, and, and, and uh, you know, getting his weight down a bit. Uh, he's coming off a tough loss against Fabrice Verdum, uh, where he got beat up pretty good for, for three rounds. Um, did you watch that fight? I did. And, yeah, it didn't, didn't look fun. No? Hopefully, uh, I'm, I'll be less fun. You'd be even less fun than Fabrizio Verdum. That would be a finish, I think, right? Because that was pretty close to a finish a couple of times. Yeah. Is that the plan? Yeah, first round. First round? Knockout? Maybe, maybe second. Second, First or second round knockout? You heard it right here. First or second round knockout. That's the prediction. Coach? Yes, I think he's, he's, uh, for, for Dev, is a good matchup, you know? Because um, uh, Roy Nelson li likes, you know, attack a lot, you know? And uh, Dev, he feel more comfortable, you know, when a guy attack a lot. But uh, yes, I think this fight is, is KO, maybe first or second round, yes. And you being the striking coach and, and being doing very, very, very well as a striking coach, dealing with uh, working with guys such as Dan Henderson, um, among the fighters that you deal with, how highly do you rank Dave as a striker? Yes, uh, Dave, yes. Dave, he, he training uh, with me uh, since, you know, maybe one year. Eight, yes, years. one year. And uh, he, he has a very good ability, you know. He's, he's getting better, you know, every day, you know. He likes, you know, he, because for, for, for getting better, you, you need a, a like stand up, you know. And, uh, you know, if he, he feel better, you know, he need training more, you know, stand up. Uh, because, you know, only one here training, you know. And, but uh, he's good. He's very good. Yeah, and, and the record speaks for itself, 21-3 and three out of 21 fights, 21, 21 um, 15 wins by, by knockout, I believe, 5 by submission, 1 that went the distance. Is that right? Sounds right. Sounds about right. That's a pretty decent record. One fight that goes the distance, that's pretty crowd-pleasing. Um, there's been some people criticizing you, saying you're not taking the fight serious enough. Is that just your way of being? You, you seem pretty relaxed. Why so serious? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think that's the answer. But you, you must be pretty serious in your training in order to compile a record such as a 21-3 record. Um, yeah, I've been trying to take training more seriously, um, especially after my first loss, um, which was when I started training, actually. Oh, serious? Uh, yeah. You didn't train until your first loss? Not at a gym, or I, I didn't have any coaches. I just worked out on my own. And then you, you lost once and you said, hmm, maybe I should start training in this sport. Yeah, well, I lost because um, I, I was out of shape. But had I have actually known what I was doing, um, I would have won not being in shape. So I was like, I need to either be in shape or know what I'm doing. And if I know what I'm doing, you can't take that away. You know, you can always get out of shape. Right. <laughs> so. Now, Daniel, as a coach, working with someone who comes in and um, – hasn't been doing his own thing, does it make it easier or is it harder to teach someone? Is it almost like a diamond that hasn't been polished or is it a lot of doings that needs to be undone? But for, for you know, for training, this, this MMA fighter, you need the time, you know. But the big problem uh, you have, uh, uh, 
you know, a promoter organization, he, he, he don't have the time, you know, because time is money, you know. I, you, you need you need training, you know. Uh, a guy need a, a good striker, you know. Uh, you know, six months, is, he need very good, but it's difficult, you know. Uh, yeah. uh, for, for, for coaching, you know, and stand up, uh, everything, you know. You need a time. But uh, in MMA, you know, you, you don't have a time. This is a big problem, you know, because if you're training, you know, uh, every day a lot, you no know, problem. Every, every everybody uh, uh, feel good, you know. Right. But uh, if you're training, you know, sh short time, it's difficult to guy, you know, uh, very good. For good fighter, you need a four five years, you know. And you guys have worked together for one year. Yes. You know, Do you see a lot of improvement? Yes, yes, he's nice, he's very good. Huh? I think he's, he's a very good stand-up. He's smart, you know. He, he, need, he need working more, you know, but uh, he's good, you know, for, for, for MMA, you know, for, for seven, eight months, you know, one year, he's okay, you know. And so you're okay? You do, <laughs> but uh, I, you I keep my hands up now. You keep your hands up now, that's nice. <laughs> it is. Do you, do, you feel, do you feel the improvement, the difference in working with a team and a coach versus training on your own yeah i can tell a huge difference um especially my stand-up my uh my last fight actually i lost my last fight but it was the first fight i ever had that i actually looked like i knew what i was doing on my feet so I, I was actually pretty happy about that and you're planning on keeping this feet this fight on the feet roy nelson is, is a great grappler he got very good jujitsu um jujitsu doesn't work <laughs> And I think a lot of people were expecting Fabrice Verdum and Roy Nelson to have a battle of the jiu-jitsu. And that was never the case. Fabrice Verdum uh, displayed a great, great stand-up. That's because he knows jiu-jitsu doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's wrestling and, and stand-up for you? That's where you train? Yes. You don't train jiu-jitsu at all? Uh, we do grappling um, at the gym, but there, I mean, I don't put a gi on. You never put I, don't, I never uh, get my gay on, so... <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Daniel, any comments to that? Yes, but, uh, you know, for me, you know, okay, you know, but uh, for me, you know, MMA fighter need a training everything, you know, you 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 feel better because he has situation. Who, you know, if you if you if you stay on the ground, you know, it's difficult if you don't have, you know, a, a good base of jiu jitsu. Jiu jitsu, I think, is very good. You know, you need everything for MMA. Do you train jiu jitsu? No, because I don't. No, I don't train <laughs> jujitsu. I like jujitsu, but because I'm I, I'm scared, you know, uh, injury my arm, or you know, after uh, can't work, you know. Yeah. Only only for that because, uh, but uh, I I want I, I like jujitsu, you know, because I training many jujitsu fighter. Yeah, I think it's very very good, uh, very good uh, art, you know. And being down in Temecula with Dan Henderson, um, it's wrestling. Is the the bread and butter for Dan obviously, and he's done a career out of it, made a career out of it. Uh, do you focus a lot of time? Who do you wrestle with? Do you wrestle with Dan a lot? Uh, yeah, I wrestle with Dan sometimes, and um, I think his brother-in-law Andy was on the Olympic team. He he came in and wrestled a couple weeks ago too. Um, but don't get me wrong, jujitsu is fun to do, but so is bowling. <laughs> <laughs> So Roy Nelson is not going to be able to use his jiu-jitsu against you. That's the plan. You're not going to be taken down? No. <laughs> is that why you're eating so much to make sure he can't take you down? <laughs> I mean, it might, it might help. I, I don't know. I don't plan on going to the ground um, unless I take it there. Ah. So you might go to the ground, but you'll be on top. Yes. Um, now, diet. We hear a lot about fighters going, trying different diets. Um, uh, Mike Dolce's the Dolce diet and and uh, going vegan and vegetarian. I've never heard of the pizza and the Subway uh, diet before. Is that something you you normally do? You eat wherever you feel like. Well, um, pretty much. I was actually on a pretty much strictly pizza diet before a fight <laughs> once, and that was the one that went to a decision. So I don't know. I may not recommend the pizza diet. <laughs> so that's why you're switching up between the pizza and the Subway. Throwing pizza throwing a little Subway. All right. Do you, do you get involved when it comes to the diet at all? No, no. This is you know, it's not it's not my deal. You know, I'm 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 focused more for my speciality, my diet. Diet is is more for you know um, doctor. You know, not for me. You know, because you know he's he's very you know um, he has a lot of detail. You know, for diet. You know, you, you can you know uh, uh, lose weight. You know, and you you know any, any anything. You know. 
It's science, absolutely, absolutely. Um, and uh, let's see on Saturday how the subway died. I never heard of that before. We'll, we'll see the guy in the commercials. I can't remember his name. Jay, that's it. And it obviously worked out very well for him. I think he got his stomach stapled, but sure. Really? Is that is that official? Or was that your inside? That's just what I was told. Uh. He lost weight. He Now, he ate Subway every day. Right. <laughs> but his stomach was stapled. So that would he make couldn't, he couldn't. Too, right? Because, like, I eat Subway every day, too. Two foot long subs. Every day? I have pretty much, almost every day for, like, the last week. You might want to consider the sponsor this guy right here. Dave Herman, uh, Subway. You, Jared, forget Jared. Stomach stapling. That's That's cheating. MMA fighter. So, have you ever contacted Subway? Have you even discussed a sponsorship potentially with them? Uh, no, I haven't. <laughs> that's this. That's your manager. Or job. I love Chipotle too. Actually, Chipotle. two two burritos from Chipotle every day would be awesome. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about Roy and Nelson. Except from the hairdo, what else? Uh, and the jujitsu. What else do you uh, have to say about Roy Nelson? I love Roy. Uh, I love watching him fight. Um, I've seen a lot of them, and I always root for him to win. Uh, it's just. What it's, do you on Saturday? It's just too bad I won't be able to root for him this time. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what about the main event? Any predictions on that? Yeah, Dos Santos will win. He'll win that. Yeah. A knockout. Yep. So Junior Dos Santos, you feel that he will be too much for Frank Mir? Knockout. How far away are you yourself from a title fight? Would you say? Um, hopefully not that far, but uh, not my decision. So uh, whenever, whenever the UFC thinks I'm ready, I'll be here. So you, if you got a call Saturday evening, early Sunday morning, potentially, you're next in line for Junior Dos Santos. You would say, yes, I'm ready. Most definitely. Daniel? I, I always say yes. <laughs> you just like to fight. I'm, I'm in. And eat pizza. Let's do this. <laughs> Daniel? If he is ready, I'm ready too, you know. But he's tough, you know. Junior Dos Santos is a tough guy, yes. And uh, they, what you like, like a person, and Daniel as a coach, sometimes you see the coach is more the uh, the leading hand and, and says this is what's up. Um, Dave, you seem to be your, your own. You train on your own. You made a career in mixed martial arts on your own. What does Dave Herman do when he's not actually fighting? Um, I mean, pretty much everything at, at some time or another. Uh, it's bowled spring. Did you I haven't bowled in like a year. <laughs> but... Uh, I'm not bad. Yeah. Some I can only bowl like three games right-handed, and then for some reason I just not any good after that. I have to start bowling left-handed. So you can bowl both ways. Yeah, I go both ways. <laughs> have you taken your coach bowling? Do you bowl, Daniel? No, no. A big sport. Do you, you play bowl? Play bowl. Bowl, 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 bowl. What's it called? The French bowl? Bowl. I have no idea. Bowling? Bowling? No, it wasn't. No, you bowl when you throw the ball and you try to hit the little ball. Ah, yes, yes. No, 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 no. I'm very good. No, no. What's that called? It's a, it's a, it's a, a sport. Yes, it's a bull. Bull? Well, it's bull. Okay. <laughs> you play bull? You play bull? <laughs> <laughs> this is both of friends, you know, I never see, you know, in America. Everybody yes, know yes, American guy play bull. I've, bull. Never, I've never even heard of it. Yeah, no, I, I have bull. no idea what you're talking about. No, you play a cage ball. Cage ball is very like cage ball. You know cage ball? Cage ball? Yeah. Is that like is that like mixed martial arts but with the uh, soccer? And on a trampoline. <laughs> yes, cage ball, yes. Cage ball. What is that? I never heard of cage ball. It's um <laughs> it's in a cage. there's a cage built on top of a trampoline and uh, it's kind of a cross between like volleyball and basketball on a trampoline inside of a cage. Why do I feel like you're pulling my leg right now? I'm not <laughs> at all. Daniel, Go Google it. <laughs> Actually, uh, they Google they it. came. Uh, the UFC came and, and shot my uh, like workout video, and they got me on video play. But serious? Yeah, I think they, they put it in my. Uh, I don't know. Somebody saw it on TV today. Did you order room service? Because the 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 bell just. I ordered a uh, fridge earlier. <laughs> that could be it. We're gonna have to cut it there, guys. Thank you for coming out. We're looking forward to seeing Dave Herman against Roy Nelson on Saturday night, UFC 146. Guys, thanks for coming in. Go home and finish that pizza. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Hein. Merci mon ami. À la prochaine. <laughs>